Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another Tinkercad designer shout out. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends, this one we've been watching for a little while. Let me paste in the share link and show you what Jackson has created. Oh my gosh, friends, this is from sixth grader Jackson. He has been building this by scratch, and I just got the note that it's finally done. Friends, this is a V8 totally built from scratch. I'm going to hit home and let's spin around and check it out in every side. Oh my gosh, you can see these are just rectangles and parts put together, but he kept combining them. He's got the awesome pipes. Dude, this is fantastic. If you look back through all my videos, and I'll put cards here, I showed you a video back when he was building this component right here. After that, he built the headers. Right here, he's got the awesome belt. This is insane. Teeth connected to gears. He's got those lined up. That's just nuts. Now, friends, my favorite part of this project is I saw Jackson grab an image just like this one and just kept going back and forth and trying things. He went through all the parts, searching, finding. He found the pro gear, which is down here on shape generators under all. If I hit more shapes, you can see this is the chunk he used for the belt. If we go a little bit lower, you can find the pro gear. He found teeth that matched the belt. He just kept experimenting as he made all these awesome components. Rectangle, rectangle, cylinder, cylinder. This is what is so amazing about Tinkercad is you can just grab a part, shape it a little bit, slap it together, and before you know it, you have got your own epic V8 engine. Jackson, amazing work, and as usual, thank you so much for taking time to share. Alrighty, friends, real quickly, every time you launch Tinkercad, double check to see if you've got notifications. If you've made designs public, you may be getting reactions to your cool projects. If you do get a reaction, make sure you right click on their designs, open a new tab and see if they have any designs to appreciate. Now, if they have not made a public design, it will be blank. But as you can see, I did also get a shout out from Henry. Oh my gosh, love seeing Henry's awesome creations. I also like to hit latest so you can see what he's doing now. Oh my gosh, check out these awesome creations and give them the reaction they deserve. Friends, if you don't have reactions, it's because you're probably not making designs public. Let me show you how to do that quickly. First, make sure that you hit properties, choose public. I like to make mine so that they are no derivatives. So that way, if you follow a tutorial, which will be listed here, you can learn it. This will be work in progress. I will finish this sometime. I will probably have a link so you can get to the tutorial. I throw in some tags. Usually I just put in my HL Mod Tech and fun. And then once you hit save, it'll show up. Now this one will be goofy because it doesn't have any cool stuff. But my other ones, I use add image to make cool images like you got here for my Connect 4. It shows people what they're looking at. And then of course you can always click view in 3D and see just how cool that project actually turns out. Finally, friends, if you ever make something awesome, don't forget, you can share it with me so quickly. Hit the invite people button, generate a link, copy the link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those are not available to you, don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com. It is my website, and it has got a ton of Tinkercad lessons. And then down at the bottom, it also has a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your information, and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to remind you, we have got the invite link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. I also want to note if you click on the designer showcase, it gives you the designer directory with so many amazing user profiles. Friends, of course, when you click on these, like I'll hit Dragon Head Technologies, I once again always like to sort by what's latest, check on their cool new designs, and of course give them a reaction for how epic their work is. That is awesome. 
Below the directory, friends, you will find the Tinkercad Design Nuclear Reactor. Submit one design per week. You can use this tutorial to figure it out. And then after you click it, make sure you hit the reactor. Friends, even if you don't submit a design, check this out every day. And of course, click up here and sort from Z to A to always have the new ones at the top. And then you can click on them and give these amazing users and their designs some feedback. Oh my gosh, chess game. And I've actually seen these students play in this in class. That's fantastic, and he's allowing you to copy and tinker. Friends, on this same page, you can also find the form for how to request a shout out, and if you need, there's a tutorial for how to make it work. Finally, friends, I've got to end by saying, oh my gosh, Jackson, thank you so much for sharing your amazing engine. It is absolutely epic, and I have totally enjoyed watching you create such cool stuff. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a